So welcome, Igor. It's wonderful. Hi. It's wonderful to invite you to our. We're celebrating twenty-five years of PFI, but we're now in the community circle, and I was just telling everybody how we have recently had um, our plant a tree action our campaign and that last year you did a fabulous um talk about natural beekeeping and we decided when we had all the when we were looking at the different groups that your project your project in poland was actually fitted really what we were looking for people working very hard planting trees but also looking at the bees and I'll just show everybody the here we can see this was actually the um presentation you gave last year for the blessed bee day so what I'd like you to tell us now is how did you start with your project with your farming and tell us a little bit more about your the bees and the way you've been doing the natural beekeeping because of what I, and then when you told us a little bit about the project I will then love to uh, give you the award from PFI so please go ahead first of all tell us how you've been this last year how have you been getting on and tell us a little bit more about your project yeah uh all started for me around 15 years ago when I decided to start the organic farm, but uh, I started going deeper and deeper and deeper. It was a permaculture, uh, then was a biodynamic uh, techniques of, uh, of farming. And with the bees, I ended up actually by accident because they just came to me uh the, the the first bees just came to me and i didn't know what to do so i rushed quickly to buy the the bee house somewhere uh from my neighbors and i just settled those bees um initially i wanted to give give them to my friend who is a beekeeper but at some point he just told me why not you start uh, doing it yourself and that's how it started uh, I try to keep a uh, low amount of the um, uh, beehives uh, so it still stays as my hobby, not mm -hmm. a profit. Uh, so I can actually spend a lot of time with them and uh, I can sacrifice a lot of time for them uh, and still having it as a pleasure, not as a job. Mm -hmm. I understand. Um, so, yeah. I was going deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm like kind of self learner. So I was sourcing a lot of internet materials, buying new books until I found something which actually matched my uh, idea of beekeeping, which I called a bit uh, witchcraft beekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, connected strongly with the uh, with the uh, moon phases and um, and the planets uh, and the uh, um, moments of doing different things with the bees, uh, yeah, and that's that's how it started. And then I just started planting more trees for the bees. Uh, all my flowers are for the bees. Uh, all my herbs. Sometimes I don't allow to cut any herbs because they need to bloom first. Yes. <laughs> for the bees. <laughs> Uh, I call it like a bee pharmacy and I try to stay uh, fully natural uh, without uh, interfering too much with the bees and without taking too much honey of them, uh, just taking enough for me and my friends and my family and uh, all the remaining honey just stays with the bees where it should be. Um, I let them freely uh, just fly away if they want and uh, you know that that's how I introduce them to the to the natural environment uh, around um, but a few years ago I actually kind of made a bargain with 
two of the goddesses which are very close to me uh, and they actually kind of implemented the idea that I should start planting a lot of trees uh, oh, on my I land. Uh, yeah, so basically one, one of the goddesses is Isis, uh, obviously, which I didn't know is actually connected to the bees until the meeting you invited me on and there was so, one presentation. There you go. Uh, yeah, and another goddess is Hecate, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is very, very, very weird match, but <laughs> but that's how it is. And uh, yeah, so I decided that I'm gonna start planting a lot of trees, like starting off my house and now expanding the the the, the area. Uh, so Finally, I, I plan to plant around six hectares of, of, the, of the trees uh, just mm -hmm. me. It's kind of separation of the world from me, for, for me as well. You know? yeah. <laughs> and neighbors. Exactly. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, well, this, is, uh, this is really wonderful to hear you. As I say, it's, um, I just wanted to give a short uh, uh, welcome to you and uh, on behalf of uh, Pain Federation International I would like to uh, donate 200 euros for you and uh, you know to really really um, support you in all, all your efforts so it's a wonderful project we will be uh, looking forward to seeing some of the um, maybe you can do a, another another online meeting and then we can sort of celebrate and let us see how you get on so thank you very very much Igor and um, do you know enjoy enjoy the farming and I hope this little bit of money will just help you to plant some more trees so thank you ever so much and uh, blessed be yeah blessed be thank you very much uh, that's a perfect start for me and that's a sign that actually I'm going a good way and uh, the idea is just just very good because that was very unexpected and yeah i believe in science <laughs> <laughs> so thanks again and uh, do take care bye thank you bye